This video shows how to change the CPU in your computer. The first thing you're going to do is need to remove the heat sink off of the CPU. In this case, mine is a cooling block because I have liquid cooling. So you can see those four screws that are around the perimeter of that. I'm going to remove those and pull the cooling block off of there and that exposes the CPU and then I'll show you how it can be removed. You can replace it and how to put it back together. I've moved the cooling block, as you can see, off to the side. This is what's underneath of it. That's the chip and the fixture that holds it in. You can see that little arm on the right side there. So what you're gonna do is you take this arm, you push it down and move it off to the side like that. And then you lift it up and you're gonna see that fixture slides up and out of the way and lets you remove the chip. The part that's holding the chip on, you can see this part right here and this part right here. It slides on there and it presses the chip down. And so when you lift that arm up, it slides those out of the way so you can remove the chip. Now I have that lifted up out of the way and the chip is just sitting there. You can pick it up and replace it with your upgraded chip. If you look carefully at the chip, you can see there's little notches on each side and that helps you orient it the correct way inside of there because it can only go in one way. This thermal paste is rated at 12.8 units of thermal conductivity. A lot of the stuff you get can either be between four and eight this is supposed to be really highly thermally conductive so it should help cool the chip i'm going to squeeze a little of this on there and then i'm going to spread it around with the little spatula they give me now i'm going to spread it around and get it very evenly coated across the whole chip that spread pretty evenly on there. Then when I place the cooler on there, it'll finish spreading it and it'll make a good co connection between the cooling block and the chip. I've got the new chip in there. You can see it's got the thermal paste on it. So what you do is you lay this part down. As you lift this lever, you can see it drop into place and it's going to slide along underneath of this screw here and hold the chip down and as I push this lever down there's a lot of tension on it what it's going to do is hold that chip very tightly against the conductors now I can take this cooling block and turn it over you can see these four studs that stick out it's going to mount onto there and then there are spring screws that will hold it onto there i'm going to point those out so these four studs right here once you get the cooling block on there then you just use these little spring screws and those keep tension on the cooling block to keep contact with the chip. I've got each of the spring nuts started and now I just need to go around and snug them down. Tighten up each one so that they keep a good even pressure on the cooling block pushing it against the chip. What happens is the screw gets tight and it's not the screw that's holding the pressure, it's the spring. So the screw will bottom out, you'll feel it stops turning and then the spring is providing the pressure down onto the chip. Okay, those are all tightened down and that upgrade is complete. Now you can reassemble your computer Put the sides back on the case, get it all plugged in, and you'll have an upgraded CPU.